Hi guys, welcome to Instructor for You. I am Kibi Menali. Guys, if you are new to my channel, I have brought the new series of videos containing the curriculum of SE and Class 10 Science in this playlist. Please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. Also, do not forget to click the bell icon to get a lot of new videos. Guys, this is the third video of lesson 4 for class 10. In our previous video, we learned about the gravitation and its derivation. Now, let's learn what happens when the masses of bodies are doubled keeping distance between them constant. What changes we get in gravitational force of attraction? Here, I have two balls, one small football and one small volleyball. These two balls have certain mass. I suppose the mass of a small football is m1 and the mass of small volleyball be m2. See, these two balls are few centimeters apart from each other. Here, I suppose b is the distance between them. Now, what is the force of gravitation between them as per the Newton's law of gravitation? Dear friends, we know from the Newton's law of gravitation, F1 equal to G times M1 times M2 divided by D square. Now, let's replace the small football and small volleyball by another two balls which have double masses than the mass of small football and small volleyball. Let's take a big football and the big volleyball on the other side. Here we consider the mass of big football is double than the mass of a small football. That is, M1 was the mass of a small football. Now, the mass of big football becomes its double. That is, 2M1. And mass of big volleyball is double than the mass of a small volleyball. That is, 2M2. Then, the force of attraction between them is given by F2 equal to G times 2M1 dot 2m2 divided by d square. We placed 2m1 instead of m1 and 2m2 instead of m2. After we solve this, we find out the value f2 equal to 4 times g times m1 dot m2 divided by d square. So that is f2 equal to 4 times f1. So now we understood as force is directly proportional to mass of bodies. So when the mass of both bodies are doubled, the force also increases by 2 multiplied by 2 times equal to 4 times. Now, let's learn what happens to the force of gravitation when distance between two bodies is halved, keeping the masses constant. Here, now let us take the two objects, one apple and an orange. We consider the mass of apple be m1 and the mass of orange be m2. These two fruits are kept, let's assume, d distance apart. According to Newton's law of gravitation, we can write f1 equal to g times m1 times m2 divided by d square. So now we make the distance between them half, keeping the masses constant. So let's bring them closer. Let us suppose we brought them at distance 1 by 2d. Now what changes we get in gravitational force of attraction? when the distance between two bodies is made half. Let's find. So F2 equal to G dot M1 dot M2 divided by D by 2 whole square. Here we replaced D by 1 by 2 D. Or F2 equal to 4 times G times M1 M2 divided by D square. Therefore, we can write F2 equal to 4 times F1. Hence, the gravitational force between two masses becomes four times when the distance between them is half, keeping their masses constant. Now we knew everything applies force to each other, which changes due to change in their masses and distance. Do you know our Earth also applies force to pull an object to the center? And which we can feel. What is the force of gravitation applied by the Earth? or any heavenly bodies to the objects lying on or near to its surface called? What makes every object to fall down on the earth? We will be right back of all this in the next video. Till then, stay safe, take care, bye bye.